Warm greetings from the high 10. It is Everyday Shenanigans on this Monday, July 27th, 2020. Thanks for joining me. I want to bring you a bit of information out of the uh, music industry. Um, there was a report that has come out this week pertaining to Megan Thee Stallion. Um, on July 12th, in the early morning of July 12th, she and uh, Tori Lanez, a Canadian rapper, 27, and a female acquaintance, were in a chauffeured SUV in California, and they had just left a party, and the car SUV was pulled over by authorities. Um, I watched the said uh, video on TMZ.com, if you need verification for the storyline, and it shows them being asked to step out of a vehicle. Each party steps out of the vehicle, and when you look at the said uh, people stepping out of the vehicle, you will see a female, because the, the video is shot from overhead, as being shot from, I guess, um, high up, you can see a video. Uh, this video shows a female walking backwards in the video, and you can see stains on the ground as she walks. Well, it, it has been reported that Megan was shot. She has not told who shot her. Uh, she's gone to Instagram live to talk about the incident and that is not a funny matter it is a serious matter and I concur anytime you've been shot period no matter where you were shot she was shot in both feet and as I state she has not told who shot her but the party that was with her Mr. Um, Linez uh, was sought for gun charges. Now, I'm going to say this much. Arrested for gun charges. Megan may never tell who shot her. And we know that when, in certain lifestyles, people don't like to tell because they don't want to be deemed a snitch or this, that, and the other. I'm going to tell you this much. Who gives a, a rat's ass? And I'm saying that because you know what? It's easy to say one thing. But until you're shot, you don't know what it's like to be shot. And to be shot in your feet... No one could tell me that wasn't intentional. And we also know that when they took the bullets out, which didn't harm any major arteries, veins, tendons, bone, she is lucky to be alive and not have major damage done to both feet. When they extract the bullets out, I think y'all know where I'm going with this, right? Baby girl, don't have to say a word because they're going to test those bullets to the gun that Mr. Linez was carrying on that early morning. So she doesn't have to utter a word about who shot her. I would hope that she would. But everyone is different. But I would hope that she would tell the truth that he shot her. Maybe in time she will. But ballistics or you know what. And they will show that. Indeed, if he is the one who shot her in that vehicle, he did it. And what are you going to do? The bullets don't lie. Now, why would this person, this guy, this rapper shoot her? I don't know. Were they dating? I don't know. Did he ask her to leave? I don't know. But one article states she and her friend were trying to exit the vehicle so perhaps an argument ensued he didn't want her to leave Mr. Uh, Linez did not want her to leave the vehicle words went back and forth and boom he decided to shoot her they stopped this vehicle because it was said that a person was shooting in the air now let's just use common sense how could a person be waving a gun in the air shooting in the air and then their party ends up with their feet shot. See, this is asinine. And anybody can use common sense. If it ain't but three of you in the car, it ain't but one of you got a gun, and somebody smells smoke, yeah, nine times out of ten, oh, and one party's bleeding at the feet, the rest is common sense. I don't know what's going on between Miss uh, Megan and this young man, if they were dating, whatever they had, a row, whatever. But it, it should have never led to that. If she and her friend wanted out of the vehicle, then you all should have kindly pulled over and let her out. The fact that they said that this was a chauffeured vehicle means you are really a stupid son of a something to be shooting. And there's a witness. They're also stating that the witnesses are not cooperating. 
So now you've got a guy, female, whomever, driving the vehicle, chauffeuring these people around from a party, and now they don't want to cooperate and say, yeah, that's the guy that shot her for whatever reason. And we, I think we know why a person wouldn't want to tell, because they're thinking, well, hell, if he shot her in the feet, what the hell you think he'll do to me? I think it's crazy that lately rappers going to California getting shot. One went to California recently, a few months ago, and he came back in a bag back to New York. See where I'm going with that? This is serious business. There are evil people out here who don't mean you no good. They're not your friends. And she's right. Going to Instagram to say, hey, she's trying to do what's best for her. Get herself in a positive light. And I think this was an eye-opening experience. And how could it not be? Maybe she obviously was in the wrong company of people. And that's for her to come to that determination. And I think getting shot in her feet by whomever was in that vehicle, she now knows she was in the wrong company. And I feel sorry for her. But I watched her Instagram live, a little bit of it. I liked her attitude, her demeanor. She, to me, was more pretty in this Instagram, Instagram live than when I've seen her in her video months back. I like her music, and I wish her the best. I don't wish any type of harm coming to a woman, period. And this, to me, is so low rent and low down. For whatever reason, the person chose, if Mr. Linez is the person who shot her, that was grimy and foul. And you can't tell me there was anything she could have done worthy of shooting her in the feet. And that, to me, is just like... So ghetto ratchet. Shoot someone in their feet. Not even thinking of the damage that could be done. Because you know you need your feet to walk. You hear what I'm saying? So Megan, I'm wishing you well. I'm praying that you will, will tell the truth. And tell who shot you on that night. But I'm telling you all. Log on to TMZ.com. Watch the video. I'm a little bit perturbed by the video because the police is steady telling her to walk, 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 walk. Can't you see she's bleeding at the feet? You can see the stains as she steps backwards. That she is bleeding. She is injured. Now, she originally told the police that she cut her feet on glass. We now know possibly she didn't want to tell the truth because she didn't want to implicate this guy. Maybe they were dating, in love. I don't know. I don't want to put any rumors out there about her love life whatever because I don't know but what I'm saying is she had her reasons for not wanting to say who shot her but I didn't like the fact that they would keep asking this person to walk 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 and they see that she's bleeding and at some point she does finally get to the ground you can see it looks like it's painful for her to try to bend to get to the ground and then she just collapses over other female friend she's lying flat on her stomach on the ground and the male suspect laying flat on the ground and they all look like they were half dressed all of the individuals. So I don't know what kind of party they had going on or where they were, if they were at a pool party or what. But it's a jacked up situation and a sad situation. And I'm praying for her full recovery. I'm praying that she, as I state, assess the situation, learn from the situation, and try her best not to get in this type of situation again. Because that could be anyone. You fool with the wrong kind of people. You can end up shot in the feet or worse. You could be six feet under. So my prayers for Megan and prayers that she fully recovers and she tells who shot her because my thing is I wouldn't be worrying about nobody in the street. I wouldn't be worrying about none of these people out here, what they have to say about me because that's her journey. That's not my journey and that's not anybody else's journey. And people need to get away from this not wanting to speak what happened because you're worrying about what people think, the street code, street ethics. Let a queen tell you something. There has never been loyalty in the street. There has never been loyalty loyalty with anything from people who don't give a damn, don't have empathy, and wrongdoing. And that's just a spoken word. Like, share, subscribe, drop your comments below. Thanks for joining me. And until the next video, this is Everyday Shenanigans. I'm out of here. Bye.